Sophia and today I am going to be going over places to buy cheap books. So to start off, I don't know how long they're going to be in business, but right now in Burbank, there is a bookstore called Book Castle-Movie World. It's a used bookstore. Don't know how long they'll still be there, but they have the books outside. They have paperbacks for 50 cents and hardcovers for 99 cents. I actually got four books. I got The Unbecoming of Mara Dyer, two books from the Mortal Instruments series, and Wolf Spain, the second book in another series I was told to read. From there, it totaled up to 250. It was amazing. And yeah, it, you, if you're in LA, you need to go to this bookstore. It's absolutely fantastic. And even if it's not outside, they have pretty good deals inside. Like you can get like Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows hardcover was like 10 bucks instead of 24 which is amazing so yeah that's an excellent place to go right now well, they're still in business so I definitely recommend if you're ever in LA if you live here to go to that bookstore the second place you can get used books pretty cheaply Amazon Amazon has books that are usually around 30% off they have pretty good deals there buy them show up to your house and yeah it's about it it's really nice and stuff I don't go and buy books at Barnes Noble bookstore anymore because there's so many other places to get them like 30% off now. Okay, speaking of Barnes & Noble, the next place to buy cheap books is Barnes & Noble online. So online, Barnes & Noble has books that are about 30% off typically, some more, some less. Uh, if you buy, I think it's over 25 yeah, if you buy enough books and you pay $25 or more, you get free shipping, and they also do coupons, and they have sales, like, um, a couple months ago, they had 90% off textbooks, I don't know if they still have that, but they frequently have good deals, I've had a couple times where they added 15% off to my original order that was already 30% off the normal price, so, it's excellent if, when they're having those sales, and 30% off, which is a good deal, otherwise. The next place, and I've been using this place a lot to buy books is thrift books. It's an, also an online store. They have books around three, four dollars. It's a used bookstore, but you can get books that are like new. And by like new, I mean this was like new. It looks new. This was also like new. It looks new. They have pretty decent shipping. Um, oh, this like new, pretty much looks new. This thrift books is excellent. I don't know what more I can say about it. Oh, they also have these things called deals, and you can get two books for seven dollars and four books for twelve dollars. These are pretty good deals, but but if you care about how your book looks, the ones in thrift deal are usually well used. So have like the creases and stuff. It's not that bad. It's a book. It has the words. But yeah, it, it's an excellent source. I definitely recommend using it. However, you have to pay attention to whether you're getting the regular paperback or the mass market paperback because I made that mistake with the Succubus series by Rochelle Mead. See, I got four of the books in regular paperback but then I accidentally got two of them in mass market paperback, so just pay attention to that when you're buying the books. Otherwise, thrift books is great. The next thing I have for you is, and I forgot to do this before, it's Amazon, but while you get 30% off new books, if you go down to the used section, you can get like some books for just like a dollar. And if you don't care about how they look, that's an excellent option. Oh, okay, so I don't know if this still is still here, um, but last time I checked, they had Looking for Alaska on Amazon, like, if in the use section for 25 cents. So that's an excellent deal. We also have BookBub, and it's a site where you can find out if there's days when books are free or books are like $1.99. And it's excellent, just but it's all ebooks. They don't do paperbacks, which if you like the actual book, if you like to look at your book, if you like to stroke your books and look at them, I, I'm afraid that's not possible with the ebooks, but it's still great. It's an excellent resource. The last one I have for you is Target online. They typically are the ones that have special editions. They have free shipping over, I think it's 30. It's not as good as Barnes & Noble. Oh, it's free shipping over 35. Okay, that's not as good as Barnes & Noble or Amazon. If you have Amazon Prime, shipping is free. They usually only have their books 20% off, but they have most of the special editions. So if you like special editions, Target's online is the way to go. I do not recommend shopping in bookstores anymore. If you find a book you like in a bookstore, just go and order it on your phone because you'll get it for a lot cheaper than than you would before. Thank you for watching. That's all I have for you today. Good luck on buying your books. Bye!